Hi everyone, so in this video I want to discuss the printf and scanf functions in a little more detail. So uh, the first thing I want to do is let's create an int and keep the value as 5 and let's make a float as well and let's keep that value to 5 too and uh, now what I want to do is I want to print both of these. So uh, the first thing is that instead of uh, having two printf's I can also do something like percent %d percent %d and then give a comma b remember that these need to be comma separated so uh, let's try running this now um, I do gcc um, formatting io that's the name of my program and um, let's try running this as well .exe. So as you can see it gave me a really weird output which is uh, 50 whereas um, it should be 5 and then 5 again and the reason for that is that I've used a percent %d and a percent %d again and when I want to print floats it's not percent %d which I need to use I need to use a percent %f so this is just something that I wanted to point out uh, the placeholders here uh, should match the data type of these variables so let's save it and try running it again so this time as you can see it prints 5 and then it prints 5.00000 so uh, here I don't have a space so this kind of looks like a 55 and if I want to add a space there I can uh, just hit space here so uh, in this case if I do it now um, it'll just give me the space separated uh, outputs so there's a 5 here then a space and then the 5.000 and I can also use something like a backslash t here backslash t is an ex escape sequence that's what we call these uh, backslash things um, they're escape sequences meaning that um, they mean something special so backslash t specifically stands for uh, the tab character so if I go here and I run it again uh, this time they are uh, separated by a tab space and similarly I also have a backslash n which is a new line so if I do it now I get the second output in a separate line so uh, Another thing that I want to do now is I want to get rid of these zeros so let's say I have some six zeros here and um, I only want two zeros because that's the precision of my uh, computation so uh, what I can do here is I can say uh, percent point two f uh, remember that the two must be preceded by a dot and um, let's try running it now so this time I get only two zeros so this is something that's really convenient um, I, another thing that I can do is I can say uh, percent 5.2 F which means that um, this 5 actually stands for uh, the size of the field or the width of the field so let's just clear this console and let's try it again so as you can see I've got an empty space here as well and the reason for that is because uh, when I say 5 right here I'm saying that fit the entire number in uh, a width of 5 characters so uh, the white space is one character the 5 is another uh, the dot is another and these two zeros so that's 5 characters in total so uh, it's by default right aligned in this and uh, let's also try doing a minus 5 here and let's try running it this time uh, so this time although I've mentioned a 5 um, it doesn't give a white space and the reason for that is because there's a white space right here and um, of course we can't see that but uh, what this minus means is just that we need it to be left aligned so that's what this means and uh, the next thing that I want to do at this point is uh, use something like a percent %f for both of them 
so let's just do a percent f here and a percent f here as well and let's try running it again as you can see this time it gives me some 0 0.00000 and once again that's because my data type for the variable and uh, the placeholder that I have for it do not match uh, I need to make sure that when I'm printing an int this should be a percent %d and let's say I also have a character here so char c equals and if I want to define a character I need to enclose it within single inverted commas so I can give something like s here um, and what I can do now is I can hit printf and here I do a percent c comma c and let's go ahead and run this once so as you can see it gives me an s here so uh, that's how you print characters it's percent c for characters and another thing that I wanted to point out was that this s appeared in the same line as this uh, the float 5.000 and the reason for that is when you switch printf it does not give a new line character or anything so if I want uh, this s to be in a new line I'll have to add a backslash n here or I can add a backslash and here it will have the exact same effect so uh, let's go ahead and try it out as you can see I got uh, S in a new line so this is one part the next part is uh, using printf to uh, print in scientific notation so let's have an int A equals 100000 or let's just make it 2000 and let's do a printf and uh, let's use percent %e here now and I hit a um, so this time what happens is I get a in but I get it in some uh, weird format this is not the value that I was expecting here and the reason for that is because this scientific notation is for floats or actually doubles so let's make a a double right here and let's try it again and as you can see it gives me 2.000 and then an e to the power 6 and that is what I have here you can count the zeros if you want but uh, that's it for the scientific notation part so let's now work a bit with uh, scanf so let's do an int a and let's do a scanf and um, this time I'm going to again use a different uh, placeholder for scanf and let's do an a and let's try running this and now it's waiting for some input and let's hit 5 actually uh, I should also print a if I want to see it so let's do a percent %d and then a and let's try it now and I hit 5 here and as you can see it didn't print anything and uh, one primary reason for that is because I didn't use an ampersand here so remember when you use scanf you should use this uh, ampersand symbol before the variable and uh, that's one mistake that I had made the other is that I'm using a percent %f here whereas a is an int so let's try again now if I hit 5 it now prints some 108422 thing and the reason for that is because uh, I've used the incorrect placeholder so it's giving me some unpredictable garbage value so let's get rid of this and let's hit percent %d here this time it'll work fine let's hit 5 and I get 5 as the output so uh, the next thing is let's do a percent %d percent %d that's how you can uh, take multiple inputs from scanf and again I need comma separated uh, ampersand a and ampersand b and let's go here and try this out so it's now waiting for the first input uh, let's give it as 2 and then I'll give the next input which is 3 um, it only prints 2 because uh, 
I've only asked it to print A but uh, remember that doing this is possible and uh, here it just ignores the uh, enter that I hit um, another thing that I can do is actually let's also print B here so that it's more clear so A and B and uh, let's just compile again and run it it's again waiting for some input I'll give it 2 and 3 again um, as you can see it printed 2 and 3 um, so this is how you can take multiple inputs and let's hit a space here or let's hit multiple spaces here let's say and um, let's get rid of this and let's run it I hit 2 and I hit 3 um, again it took the input perfectly fine so what this scanf does is within these double quotes no matter how many spaces you give it just ignores all the white spaces and it just uh, takes into consideration these uh, person %d and person %d that we have here so you could hit a, spa uh, a lot of spaces here you could hit a tab here um, you could do any of these um, and scanf will work fine but let's try doing something uh, different let's do a char c and let's also try to let's just hit um, a space uh, two spaces here and a percent c and let's just do ampersand c here and i'll also print it percent c comma c and let's try running it now and I hit let's say T it prints out T fine but uh, let's try doing this now and I'll hit a percent D here as well and I'll take A and then a C and this time let's enter 1 and then as soon as I hit enter it just ended the program and it didn't print out anything at least that's what it looks like but actually what has happened is that uh, in case of this characters it doesn't ignore any white spaces that I give here so uh, after I give this one as soon as I give uh, the enter or the new line uh, it considered that new line to be a character I just write that as the character and uh, it printed that again because we had asked it to print C so uh, let's try this program again and this time I'll hit 1A and as you can see it printed out A this time so uh, that's how uh, scanf works for characters for characters you need to be uh, slightly careful about uh, what kind of um, spaces you give but for integers and all it's fine and the reason it does this for it doesn't ignore these white spaces for characters is because a lot of times we may want to uh, detect whether the user has entered uh, a new line or whether the user has hit the space bar or something because uh, based on that we can differentiate between words so uh, that's why it uh, it becomes white space sensitive for characters so that's it about scanf um, and the last thing that I want to discuss in this video is uh, the get care and put care uh, functions and the way get char works is I need to do something like let's just do char c and then c equals get char and um, there should be a, an empty parenthesis here and um, let's just do a printf now printf and percent c and let's try it now let's hit t here and hit enter as you can see it worked fine so uh, this is about get care and uh, the other one that I want to discuss is the put care so instead of this printf right here let's try using a put care and uh, in case of put care you just need to give the character that you need to print within these parentheses and um, I can go back here and let's just do a t again and as you can see it printed out the T right here that's uh, because of the put cat that I've used here so uh, that's it for this video
this video was basically to give you a better idea about um, input output formatting and these get care input care methods and I'll see you next time.